why Warthog is so ugly. <laughs> You see, Warthog wasn't always ugly. Oh no, he wasn't bad looking at all. <laughs> Jambo birds. In fact, he was annoyingly good looking. The water's lovely and cool just here. Flamingo, come on and try it. <laughs> Jambo ladies. Hmm. Chop chop. Say Jambo back to the most handsome hog in Tinga Tinga. <laughs> Jambo Warthog. <laughs> Are you a little hot today, Flamingo? No, Warthog. Why? Oh, no reason. You just look a little pink. That's all. Oh. <laughs> Warthog was rude. Rude about every beast. Don't let him ruffle your feathers. Excuse me, Warthog, but we were having a conversation. Well, today's your lucky day, because now I'm going to join you. Come on, budge oh. 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 oh! Hippo, your hindquarters are humongous. Well, I never! How rude! How rude! Oh. Well, I'm oh. going to stand in the cool water, too, and there just isn't room. Good. I ain't never seen a rump that size. What? Cheek. And if I were you, I'd do something about it. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Hippo. Horrible hog. Oh. <laughs> Silly hen, leaving her eggs lying about. <laughs> I don't know what you laughing about with that ugly face of yours. Hmm? What did you say? Well, you have to admit, you're not the prettiest beast in the bush. Huh? I mean, leopard knot spots off of you. <laughs> your teeth are all crooked. Look at your back legs. They're all short and stumpy and about to run, Warthog. Run! Whoa! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! And a lovely day to feed my beautiful face. And what better to feed my face than truffles? So good for the skin and my handsome looks. Not that you can get much better looking than me. <laughs> Ooh. Watch where you're truffling, Warthog. And where, Tortoise, are you rushing off to? I'm heading for the acacia tree. I thought I'd start out early. Hare says there are some juicy lettuces there. Well, chap, chap, you better hurry. Even the snails would have gotten there by the time you get there. <laughs> no need to be so rude. You know what Owl always says? Good things come to those who wait. Well, lucky old lettuce then. <laughs> <laughs> Such a rude hog, there'll be trouble. Oh, morning, mm. porcupine. Oh, Jumbo tortoise. Are you all right? I've been up all night trying to find food. I'm so tired. I can hardly lift my quills. Look. Uh, oh, I'm shattered. You need to hold up for a bit. Get your strength back. <sighs> I'm such a long way from my hole. Why not rest in Warthog's burrow? But where is Warthog? That rude hog has gone out looking for truffles. He won't even know. <laughs> Thank you, Tortoise. I will. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! 
telling Owl. Owl! Owl! Owl. Oh, oh, I... Oh. <laughs> Stop it, Warthog. Stop it. Why? I've been up all night and we all need our beauty sleep, you know. Some more than most. And you, Owl, look very old and tired today. <gasps> <laughs> oh, be careful, Warthog. Beauty is only skin deep. Hmm. La, 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 la. Oh, 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 Warthog, Warthog. Giri. Warthog. Woo. Good day, Your Majesty. My, you look messy. What happened to your mane? Did you get all tangled in the bush? You know, kings can't prowl around looking like that. What would the other animals think? Ngiri. Now, if I were king or tinga tinga, I would... Uh, warthog? No beast talks to lion in such a manner. In fact, no beast should be insulted in such a way. You are a very, very rude hog. I w w was just saying, if I was king or tinga tinga, but I But you are not. And enough is enough. Oh! Who's the king? Come here, Warthog. I can teach you, Warthog. <laughs> Not so handsome from behind, Warthog. Who's the king now? You are! You are! Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 I'll get you! <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Oh! Warthog? Oh, uh, no. Ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Warthog. Pole, you gave me such a fright. <laughs> you see, Toto said you were out. <clears throat> and I fell asleep. <clears throat> <clears throat> Is Warthog's face going rather pink? Or am I just imagining it? <laughs> what is going on? Why is nobody helping Warthog? But he was horrid. Horrid to everybody. <laughs> well, that's not nice. But Warthog cannot stay like this. Oh. Owl, won't you help? Apparently, I'm too tired and I'm too old. Sounds like you've been upsetting oh. everyone, Warthog. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah. ah, my face, my snout, my handsome looks. Who's an ugly muggly now? <laughs> my face is all big and swollen. But at least it's not as big as my bottom, huh? <laughs> it's for the holes. Well, you've only got yourself to blame. Oh, the swelling would never go down. Hmm. If I were you, I'd do something about it. <laughs> I'm just plain ugly. What did you say, Owl? Beauty is only skin deep, Lion. Beauty is only skin deep. As ever, extremely wise words. Ugly, ugly, ugly. <laughs> and that mm. is why Warthog is ugly. His good looks never came back. <gasps> he just got uglier and grumpier. <gasps> Sorry, Warthog, forgive me. <sighs> <sighs> and from that day on, Warthog always entered his barrel bottom first. Just in case Porcupine was down there. Sorry, Warthog. I didn't mean it. <laughs> and Porcupine and her quills? Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs>
My mosquito buzzes. Oh, buzz off. Get off. <sighs> but there was a time when mosquito didn't buzz at all. In fact, when she flew, she was as silent as silent can be. And did she love telling tales? <laughs> Have you heard? Have you heard? Hippo has gone missing. Missing? Yes, it's terrible. Apparently, no one has seen her for days. <laughs> Hippo, you're okay. Of course I'm okay. <laughs> I've just been practicing swimming underwater. That's all. Mosquito. See what I mean? <laughs> A little bird told me that you, Elephant, have actually lost your tiny brain. No, have I? Mm. <laughs> Don't listen to Mosquito Elephant. You haven't lost your brain. Are you sure? Go on, shake it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's still there. You're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> Monkeys, monkeys, have you seen the sun recently? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where is it? In the sky. But the sun is very low in the sky, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's ever going to rise again. Never going to rise again? That's what I heard. But that would be terrible. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, no. <gasps> Frog, frog. Oh, oh, Jumbo mosquito. Such a shame. What is? The sun is never going to rise again. Impossible. The sun always rises. Hmm. Now you mention it. The sun does look very low in the sky today. Very, very low. <laughs> Maybe the sun doesn't want to rise because it's sad. This is terrible. <laughs> And big kapow! Sunset! <laughs> and pivotal! Chameleon, mm -hmm. chameleon, have you heard? The sun is sad, and Frog says it isn't going to rise. Huh? Can you imagine? Huh? But there's no day with no sun. No day? And no colors? No colors! <gasps> That's serious! I know, I know! A world without colors! There can't be a world with no colors! What if we never ever see the sun ever again? I know. The sun is never going to rise again. Uh, oh, no more sun, no more sun. Uh, uh, peacock, have you heard the news? The sun is never going to rise again. That's a catastrophe. No one will ever be able to see my beautiful tail ever again. It's bad. Beasts, no more sun. beasts, terrible news. It's true. The sun is never going to rise again, which means no more flowers and no more honey. Oh, no more honey. No more sun. No more sun. Oh. No more sun, no more honey. No more sun, no more honey. No more sun, no more. No more sun. No more sun. No more sun, no more sun. No more sun, no more sun. Imagine a world with no more sun. Oh, Tortoise, where are you? <laughs> yes? Terrible news. The sun, it's never going to rise again. Oh, don't be so ridiculous, elephant. Of course the sun will rise again. Are you sure? Yes, yes, elephant, I'm sure. But, but, but I heard... Don't always believe what you hear, elephant. No more sun, no oh. more sun, no oh. more sun. Oh, no more sun. Oh, ah! oh. Ah! No more sun! 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 What? No sun! What? This is a disaster! I must do something! Do something! I, I must do something. George! George! 
Dawson! Dawson! No more, son! Charge! Whoops! Uh oh! What if the sun never rises again? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? The sun will rise tomorrow morning just like it does every morning. It's nature's way. How do you know? How do any of us know? Yeah, how do any of us know? Let's just wait and see, shall we? Now, sit. Oh, oh, oh. It's going. It's going. It's gone. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? So sad. Shh. Hmm. Oh. Bye-bye, son. Is it coming? Is it coming? It's not rising, I tell you. It's not rising. See? See? Your Majesty, may I make a suggestion? About time, Tortoise. Let's go and find Owl. It's Owl's job to wake the sun after the moon has gone down. Owl will know why the sun hasn't risen. Excellent suggestion. Excellent. <coughs> Come on. Yes. Uh-oh. Epitaco. Well, no wonder the sun couldn't rise. Owl's fast asleep. Elephant. Elephant. Elephant! Owl, wake up. Wake up, Owl. <sighs> what happened? Did you fall out of your tree? I, 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 I don't know. One minute I was in my tree, and the next, woof, I was on the ground. <gasps> Does anyone know what happened to Owl? <laughs> it, it might have been me. I heard elephants say, sun, no sun, and then, and then I panicked. So, so I went like this. And then I went like this. Ah. Be easier, I know, easier. Ah. And then I think I charged into Al's tree. I don't know, really, because I can't see very well. Elephant, care to explain? It was the birds. It, it was the birds who said no more sun. Parrots told us. I told you! But the beast told me! Peacock told us. Yeah. Only because Chameleon categorically announced that the sun was definitely not going to rise. Chameleon? Mosquito told me that. And me. And me. And me. And me! Now we're getting to the bottom of things. Mosquito. Where is Mosquito? Hmm? Mosquito. Yeah, where is Mosquito? Mm, owl. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Please wake up the sun so we can find that irritating mosquito. Tweet, two, tweet, two. Ha ha! Ah, the sun! The sun! Oh, the sun! Oh, that feels good. Uh. The sun is back. <laughs> <laughs> Mosquito! 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 Oh, I found her! Mm. I found Mosquito! Hmm. Morning. Mosquito. Yes? Uh, everything okay? <laughs> Telling tales and spreading rumors is unacceptable. <laughs> Something has to be done. <laughs> Monkey? Sorry. May I suggest something, Your Majesty? Mm hmm Tortoise? Monkey, Ooh. tie that grass to the end of Mosquito's tail. Okay, so... Mm -mm. <laughs> now, whenever Mosquito flies, we'll always hear her coming. And we can bat her a wee ear, so as not to hear her telling tales. <laughs> mosquito. <laughs> and that's why Mosquito buzzes. Uh, who's that? Who's that buzzing? I can't see you. Oh. <laughs> 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 And Rhino charging? Well, that's a whole other story! Ouch! <laughs> wow! 
why ants work together. Together, Pamboja. <laughs> but there was a time when ants didn't work together. There were so many of them and they were so tiny that it was a big problem. What are they doing? I don't know. They're falling over and bumping into each other. <laughs> Look! Mm. We are trying to build a home. I think they are playing. We are not playing. We are building a home. Hmm? We can't hear you. We are walking. What are they saying? I don't know. Hmm? Uh, permission to speak, Chief. Yes, Lieutenant. I don't think the monkeys can hear you. I got that. Thank you, Lieutenant. Maybe the other animals will know what they're doing. Come on, let's find out. Unbelievable. Uh, Chief, while I've got you, all the ants are very tired and we don't seem to be getting very far with the building. Do you think maybe we need some help? Hard work. That's all it takes, Lieutenant. Hard work. But, Chief... Lieutenant, in this world, it is every ant for himself. But, Chief... Now, ants, gather around. We have a home to build. What do we have? A home to build. And what builds homes? Hard work. Now, it's a tough world in Tinga Tinga, so it's every ant for himself to work. Look, look. Ooh, look here. Ants. Look at that. What are they doing? They're trying to build a home, monkey. Why? Every beast needs a home. Birds have nests, lions have caves, monkeys... ...have trees! And tortoise has a shell. <laughs> <laughs> Quite so. But the poor little ants have nowhere to call their own. Lion, can't we help the ants? No, leave them be. It's nature's way. But they're not even strong enough to lift up a leaf. It's making me tired just looking at them. Whew. I need to sit down. No, and run! And run! Oh, oh. oh. oh hippo, no! Oh. The ants are running away. Can't we help them? Yes, can't we help? Oh, 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 I think I'm going to sneeze. Elephants, uh, no. I think Elephants. it's going to be a big one. Uh. Scatter! Run! Uh. scatter! Uh. Quick, monkeys, hold elephant's trunk. Ooh. Take your mind off it. Try and think of something. Anything! Oh, yes. I got it. Run! <laughs> Excuse me. What were you thinking about, Elephant? Sneezing. You were supposed to think about anything but sneezing. Sorry. Big head, see? Tiny brain. <laughs> <sighs> right, right. Everyone here? Yes. Good, good. Now, this seems like the perfect place for our home. Hapa, hapa, right here. But, Chief. I think we need help. No, no, no. No help. Ostrich, I'm going to huh? get you. <gasps> you never get me. <laughs> and scatter. And oh, yes, scatter. I will, Ostrich. And scatter. Scatter. I'm going to nip you. <laughs> you never get me. <laughs> oh, yes, I will. <laughs> hmm? Chief, let's go underground. Oh, yes. Quickly. Hmm. Perfect. Underground, ants! Underground! Oh. 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 Mm. Oh. Now, this is the perfect place for our home. Hapa Hapa, right here. Underground. Jambo ants! Ah, ostrich! Ants scatter! Hiding from hyena. Ants scatter! Ants? Ants? Anything I can do to help? Where did Ostrich go? Hmm. Ostrich! Ostrich! <laughs> but, Chief, don't you think that with a little help we could build a man? No, no, no! No help! Oh, yes! Oh, there's a branch! Perfect! But, sir, maybe the animals could lend us a hand. No, no, and no! No! Help! Got it! Oh! Help! Don't worry, Chief! I'm here! I've got you! Oh! Help! Oh! 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 
What is happening? I think Eagle wants the twig for her nest. All the way up there. I'm afraid so, sir. There. Better get some more. Hey, hey, Eagle. Eagle, you can't leave us up here. Oh, what's the point? No beast can see us or hear us. All they do is squash us or leave us up in trees. <laughs> ants! Ants! Woohoo! Woohoo! Up here! We're up here! Oh, leave it, Lieutenant. We might as well give up. Give up? No, no, no! We have to have hope. <gasps> Wait! Chief! Chief! I think I found it! The perfect place for a home! Over there! Perfect place? Huh. There's no such thing. There is. Look! An island in the middle of the waterhole. We'll be protected and safe and able to see all the animals for miles. But we are stuck up a very tall tree. <gasps> it's hopeless. No, it's not. But we have to work Pamoja. Hmm? Pamoja? Yes, Pamoja. Together. I have heard enough. No. If we help each other, we can get down this tree. And if we can do that, then we can all build a home. Pamoja, together. And that's what we need to do. Come on. I'll hold your arms and you climb down. Then you hold my legs and I'll climb down. If we help each other, then we can make it. Pamoja, together. You are quite a remarkable aunt. Pamoja. Together. If we both work together, together you will see. <laughs> you and me together at the bottom of the street. If we both work together, together me and you. Together is Pamoja. There's nothing we can't do. Ants, ants, quiet, come here. Meet Lieutenant, a clever little ant. An ant who has shown me that together we can do anything. Together we can lift a leaf. Together we can lift a leaf. Oh, Together oh, oh. we can drag a twig. Together we can drag a twig. Oh, oh, oh. Together we can build a home. Together. Together. Pamoja. Pamoja. Together. Pamoja. Together. 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 Pamoja. Pamoja. Together. Pamoja. Together. Woo! Ready for work? Yes, chief. Together, well done, you turn on. Together, Pamoja. Together, you'll see. <laughs> Look, singing together, twigs. One. They're not singing twigs, elephant. They're singing ants. Wow. Jumbo elephant. Sorry about the sneeze. <laughs> no worries, elephant. No worries. <laughs> Working together. Now that's more like it. It is nature's way. Come on, let's follow them. Remarkable. If we all That's good. Together, Come on. Together, That's it. One. Come on. Is this way, Ants. This way. Look at that. All of us together. A real ant army. If we all work together. Not ever standing still. We have our homes together. Hill monkeys, the ants have built their very own ant hill. Their very own home. Hey, hey, our very own ant hill. And we have the shade of our very own tree. Pamoja! Together! together. <laughs> and that is why ants work together. From that day on, they learned that together they can do anything. Pamoja! Together! Pamoja! Together! <laughs> uh, funny looking tree though. Huh? Uh? Jambo, everyone. Astrid! Astrid. <laughs> you haven't seen Hyena, have you? Oh. And Astrid? <laughs> well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs>
Why eagle rules the skies? <laughs> but you see, there was a time when no beasts ruled the skies, and it was becoming a bit of a problem. My axe! Huh? My axe! Oh, what is it? Hmm. My axe! Well, just calm down. No, what do they look like? My axe! <gasps> Hand's nest! And it's empty! My axe! You can see all that way? That's amazing! <laughs> well, they don't call me eagle eyes for nothing. Come on! Wait for me! My axe! My axe! My axe! My Calm down, everyone. No, Hen, where did you last see your eggs? In my nest, where I laid them. Uh -uh. They're not there. What am I going to do? Don't worry, Hen. We'll find your eggs in the morning, as soon as it's light. I'll find your eggs. Oh, I do hope so, Eagle. Thank you. Now, everyone, to sleep. Birds, lullaby, please. A one and a two and a three and a four. I like it. Eagle, I've lost my hum. You poor bird. Try again. What is happening up there? Why is Hummingbird not humming? That lion, I've lost my hum. <clears throat> hummingbird has lost her hum. Lost her hum? Well, that's what Hummingbird does. It's nature's way. Oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Don't worry, Hummingbird. I'll find your hum and hen's eggs. Now, where can they be? Oh, Your Majesty! Oh. Your Majesty! Something else has gone missing. What is it? Tickbird! Tickbird? I was with her in the morning, and then I went for a little swim, and when I surfaced, she was gone! Oh, no! Have you looked for her? All day long, but I can't find her. <gasps> She's so tiny, she could be anywhere. Now calm down, everyone. Hippo, we will find Tickbird, don't you worry. Oh, sorry about that. What is it with these birds? It's impossible to watch over them all. It's the wings thing, Your Majesty. Very hard to watch you over them when they keep flying all over the place. First hen loses her eggs, then hummingbird loses her hum, and now tickbird. What can I do? Hmm. May I make a suggestion, Your Majesty? Please do, Tortoise. What a very good idea. Wanyama! Animals! Yes, yes, Your yes, Majesty. Yes, yes. We have a bird crisis in Tinga Tinga, and here is what I propose. Mm -hmm. I challenge any animal, bird or beast, to find hen's eggs, hummingbird's hum, and to find little tick bird. And the first animal to find all three will be given half of my kingdom. Lion! You cannot be serious! Oh, but I am! Half my kingdom! Do you hear? Oh, oh, my yes. So let the challenge begin! Night animals! Huh? Let's get a head start and start searching! Let's search! Be quick! Right, come on, off we go! Oh, <laughs> Where can hen's eggs be? And that poor little tick bird. Hmm. I can't see them anywhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Honey, maybe I will be able to find hummingbirds hum. Queen Bee, Jumbo Eagle. Ooh, what brings you here? It's very late. I'm so very sorry to disturb you in the middle of the night. But poor Hummingbird has lost her hum. But I don't know where it is, sweetie. I know, but I was wondering if you and your bees would be kind enough to give her a drop of your sweet honey. It may bring back her beautiful hum. What a clever idea. But I'm afraid all the bees are fast asleep now. Tomorrow will be just fine. We'd be delighted. Oh, and Queen, don't tell the other animals that I asked. 
Of course, dear. Now for Tickbird and Hen's eggs. Where can they be? Where can they be? Hmm. Of course, Crocodile. Naughty beast. There he is, fast asleep. And hen's eggs. I thought so. <laughs> hey, those are my eggs. Huh? No, they're not. They're hens. Finders keepers. Losers weepers. <laughs> Nothing in the trees. Nothing in the plains, Your Majesty. Nothing underground. Elephant? No. Tortoise? Mm -mm. Nothing, I'm afraid. Huh? It was Crocodile, Your Majesty. Oh. Crocodile stole hen's eggs. <laughs> he was near Mount Tinga Tinga, hiding behind a rock. <laughs> oh, thank you, Igor. Asante. Always a pleasure to help another bird. No news of tick bird? Nothing in the trees. Nothing on the ground? We looked all over Tinga Tinga. <gasps> But what about the scars? I haven't checked the scars. <laughs> Tick Bird must be lost in the clouds. Now, where is she? <gasps> I can't see her. Where's Eagle gone? Into the clouds, elephant. Mm. Remarkable bird. Tick Bird! Tick Bird! Mm. Now, where is she? <gasps> Tickbird! Oh! Tickbird! Uh, Eagle, thank goodness you're here. I've been lost in this cloud for ages. Don't worry, Tickbird. I'm here to get you. Oh! oh Tickbird! <laughs> Welcome home, Tickbird. Thank you, Hippo. Eagle, most impressive. Now, who can find and return Hummingbird's hum? I'd be ever so grateful. Um. Your Majesty, may we give Hummingbird some of our sweet honey? It might help Hummingbird find her hum. By all means, Queen. Very good for the voice, sweetie. So sweet and smooth. Oh, but can you hum? Oh. <laughs> Bees found hummingbirds hum. <laughs> That's brilliant. Your Majesty, I knew it was our honey, but it was Eagle's idea. Really? Yes, but she didn't want anyone to know. Thank you, Queen. Asante. Wanyama, animals, I said I would give half my kingdom to the animal who succeeded in finding three things. Hen's eggs, little tick bird, and hummingbird's hum. I am delighted to tell you we have a winner! Ooh. Monkeys, drum roll please. <laughs> Here we go. And the winner is Eagle. <laughs> couldn't possibly accept. Your eagle eyes found Mama Hen's eggs. Your great wings found Tickbird up in the clouds. And your mm. great kindness and wisdom found Hummingbird's hum. Mm. The sign of a true leader. Oh, my. From this day on, Eagle, you shall be ruler of the skies. With honor, Your Majesty. With honor. <laughs> That is why Eagle rules the skies. From that day on, Lion ruled over the land animals and Eagle watched over the birds. <laughs> what a wonderful and happy day. <laughs> Time for the night lullaby, Your Majesty. Indeed, indeed. Birds. <laughs> and now Hummingbird. <laughs> and Hummingbird humming. Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs>
Cheza, cheza. Come on, dance. Imba, imba. Come on, sing. Shuka, shuka. Shake it down. Ruka, ruka. Jump around. 